What's up, YouTubers? Gamer Rant here. So what are we going to talk about in this video? Well, I just actually got through wa done watching this here video. All right, Overwatch Tracer Booty Sensor due to SJWs. Now, ironically, roughly about, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, I actually came across this video. <clears throat> Anita Sarkeesian Greed versus Your Charity and Compassion. Now, this is obviously The Amazing Atheist. And he's basically talking about Anita Sarkeesian's latest fundraising campaign where she has now promised to do this new video, Ordinary Women Daring to Defy History. Now, ironically, in her previous funding campaign that she did, she hasn't even actually fulfilled the promise that she made for all of that money that she laid claim that she needed and still even got more than she actually needed. And then, of course... Let's just talk about both of these. All right, let's 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 just do this. It's going to be an indirect video response to Alpha Omega Sin. All right, so if you, this is your first time watching my videos, I do direct and indirect. Direct means I'm countering their opinion. I disagree with what they said in a video. An indirect video response means that I'm simply talking about the same thing. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Alpha Megason Tracer Booty Sensor due to SJW outcry. <clears throat> why? Exactly why? You know, it's kind of ironic that the, the, the game developing company actually decided to censor this. And for what, what, for what point? What's the ultimate purpose? You know, this is something I constantly tell people, especially when talking about Anita Sarkeesian. Not so much my subscribers, because I haven't actually done an Anita Sarkeesian video in like forever and a day. Definitely long overdue. But, well, I want you to ultimately look at what she does and ask yourself, what is her ultimate goal? What does she hope to accomplish from this that she is doing? This is no different than this Tracer Booty Censored. The, all of the people that did outcried this to be censored, that did not like it, what was their ultimate goal? What did they hope to accomplish? Now, if you're going to sit here and iterate to the greater gratification that censoring Tracer's booty, the goal of this was to do exactly that, but what was the actual goal beyond that? Because that's not your goal. That was your purpose. That wasn't your goal. But what, what was the outcome that you wanted from doing this idiocracy? And the reality of it is the majority of the people that actually want to censor something like this don't even honestly have an honest answer to that question. Or they give you some long-winded excuse that does not answer the question. It's just avoiding the question. But what is your ultimate goal for doing this? I mean... If you're going to sit there and you're going to talk about stuff, what is your ultimate goal for doing it? So if you're going to ask me, for example, what is my ultimate goal from doing videos pertaining toward the content that I do? Not liking DLC, online pass, DRM. That is, I'm not going to say to hopefully game developers and publishers would change their mind. Because me doing videos like that isn't going to really accomplish that. The only way I could accomplish that is if I actually had the knowledge to create my own video games and start my own business. Then, not only could I talk the talk, but I'd be able to walk the walk, and that would be more sore, more towards the actual developers and publishers. Be like, hey, you know what? You do all this loaded bullshit. We're not going to do this, and we're going to prove to you that we can still make money. I mean, if I had the know-how and the knowledge to do that, I would totally do it. But because that isn't the case here, obviously I know that my videos are not going to in any way, shape, or form change a game publisher or a developer's mind. So my ultimate goal here is to hopefully inform gamers and to hopefully change gamers' mind about the stupid ass shit that takes place in the realm of gaming. Because even though I would love for game developers to watch my videos and be like, dude, this dude is totally right. Totally not going to motherfucking happen. I mean, maybe in a fantasy world, 
but not in reality. And even if they did watch it, they probably would make some kind of excuse, especially if it was geared towards them. Look at Electronic Arts. They made excuses for why they won Worst Company in America two years in a row instead of admitting and trying to fix the problems that they themselves created. So, this is something that needs to be iterated. What is your ultimate goal from this traitor booty censor? Because if you're going to sit here and say that, well, you know, you're fighting for the rights of women, but women already have rights in America. So why are you wasting your time on entertainment? Why are you wasting your time on a fictional character's ass that many female characters are not going to give a shit? Some might even be like, I got a better ass than her. And others would probably be like, mm, she's got a better ass than me. And the reality of it is there, there would be chicks like that. There, there would even be guys that would do that. Man, that, 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 that character has a better ass than my girl, my wife. Um, dude, my wife, my girl has a better ass than that. This is just what we're going to end up with. And there's going to be people to look at it and they're going to be like, oh, that booty's bootylicious. But at the end of the day, does it really affect you as a woman in any way? No, it doesn't. It doesn't affect you whether it's a lesbian, and it doesn't affect you whether it's a man. This is the reality of it. No different than it doesn't affect you if it was a close-up shot of a guy's ass, which makes you wonder if these people that did a cry out for Tracy Tracer's, Tracer booty, if they would do the same thing if it was the shot of a guy's ass. We'll even make the guy gay in the game. Would there be an outcry? among male gamers that that is just fucked up and offensive. I'm going to iterate highly unlikely. I would even iterate that the people that are crying out about this booty cam thing wouldn't do it. So once again, if you're going to sit here and iterate that if we take this very scenario and switched it with a male character and you ain't going to cry out about it, then what is your ultimate goal? Because at the end of the day, your ultimate goal is absolutely nothing. When in reality, you need to stop wasting your time with fictional entertainment and go out in the real world and help real women in other countries that have no rights. You yourself have more rights than many other women in other countries. So stop wasting gamers' time. Stop wasting developers' time. And stop wasting your own time and do something more productive. Now, as opposed to the developer, I iterate to the same concept. You're a fucking piece of shit. Simple as that. I'm not going to sugarcoat this crap. You're full of shit. Alright? You caved like the little bitch you are. Because that's what you do. End of discussion. Nothing more said there. Now, let's jump <clears throat> to Anita Sarkeesian <clears throat> and this video. <clears throat> like I already iterated, from her first funding raiser... She did not even complete her video series that she laid claim and promised in that campaign that she was going to do. So now here she is wanting more. Requesting more money for another video series that she's not going to finish. Because if she can't finish the first one, how can we expect her to finish this one? All she has done is made excuses every time someone points out that she has not even finished her first video series that she promised she would do in the first campaign. And here she is making another one. So once again, Anita Sarkeesian, what is your ultimate goal from this? Just like the booty tracer, what is your goal? Because at the end of the day, whatever you can come up with means jack shit to real women in the real world. Because you're not fighting for real women's rights. If you're a woman and you live in America, you already have rights. If you really honestly think you don't have rights, maybe you should move to another country. We could even give you a list of countries where they don't give women rights. And I guarantee you, after two days of being there, maybe not even, maybe just two hours, your ass would be back on a plane coming back to America. Stop making excuses. Stop fighting for fictional women in fictional entertainment. It does not help real women in any way, shape, or form. You want to sit here and iterate that the fictional women uh, somehow uh, makes younger girls or younger women feel or see as if that's how they should be, that's how they should act. 
but that is just your an assumption. That's your opinion. That is not fact in any facet that thereof. And once again, what is your ultimate goal from this? Because as of right now, you have not accomplished your goal, whatever it may be, Anita Sarkeesian. All you've done is lied, make excuses, and given false information. So what is your ultimate goal from this? Because if, if every time someone counters everything that you say in a video, be they male or female... You always jump to the harassment argument or the misogynist pig argument. But maybe the only misogynist pig is you. Because you're the one accusing every person of being this when in reality they're fighting for the rights of creators to create what they want, how they want it, both male and female. And you claim to be fighting for the rights of women, but yet how, how much money have you raised up to help real women? And we're not even talking women in America. Although you could still do that. You know, how much money have you saved up for fighting breast cancer? Although technically that is that affects both men and women, but you get the perspective here. Uh, how many fundraisers have you done to help girls or boys, children in general? How much money have you raised up to help, help women in other countries where they have no rights or they have very little rights? The reality is you've done absolutely none of that because you're too, too busy making up bullshit excuses for fictional characters and trying to correlate in this particular thing that we're looking at real women and ultimately how they're going to a pander to your opinion. But the reality of it is, every woman that you could even come up with in this new video series, I guarantee you, would not agree with you or follow you. Because you are not fighting for real women's rights. There are real women out there that are more honest feminist, fighting for real women's rights every day. You and your followers are not one of them. Now let's get back to this video here. So, whether you watch this guy or not, he's the amazing atheist, all right? <clears throat> and if you're unfamiliar, I'm also an atheist. Not that that really matters much of anything. But anyway, so, <clears throat> he wanted to attempt to fight, although I think fight is really the wrong word to use. He wanted to kind of, you know, prove a point to the ideology, hey, you know what? I'm going to do my own charity, all right? His actually go, it's right here, Extraordinary People Daring to Actually Help Women. And you can basically donate money. Now, none of this money goes to the Amazing Atheist. He doesn't see any of it. Uh, that's why he used this particular um, donation website, because he's not going to see any of the money. It goes directly to them, and then it's given to the charity that he automatically chose from. All right? So, yes, one thing you do need to understand is that if you're in a different country, like uh, there were some people from Germany that could not um, donate because they don't have credit card is not a really big thing in Germany. So yes, obviously credit card is required in order to donate. But either way, as of right now, it sits at $104,688, if I even said that right. My brain's kind of floppy roppy here, but anyway. And then of course, we have Anita's who is at $138,195. So you know what? Whether you disagree with Anita Sarkeesian, whether you disagree with this whole tracer booty feminist bullshit crap, all right? <clears throat> Show your support for real feminists that fight for real, real women's rights. And not this fictional bullshit that Anita Sarkeesian is trying to shove down people's throat and you can't even finish. So a link to the description box. Well, a link is in the description box below, all right? Minus that, because I ain't supporting that, all right? If you, whatever reason, want to go look at it, you can Google it, all right? Go to her website. She's got a link there. Um, now, this particular video is another video that um, The Amazing Atheist did. <clears throat> um, so, apparently, Anita Sarkeesian was in an interview, and she basically, she didn't mention The Amazing Atheist by name. She would basically refer to him as misogynist, blah, 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 and they're trying to raise money. 
you're gonna have to watch the video. It's really ridiculous. He he reads direct a direct quote from uh, the website that did the whole article and whatnot. So basically, Anita comes out and she blatantly lies to the purpose of this charity that the amazing atheist has decided to do, which, by the way, is fighting for will women's will real women's excuse me rights and not this fictional excuse me this fictional bullshit that Anita Sarkeesian is trying to pass as helping win real women. Anyway, I'm Gamer Rant. I hope you enjoyed this video in some fashion or form. A link to The Amazing Atheist, both of his videos. You probably want to watch uh, this one first before you watch this one. Or you could just watch this one. He kind of goes over the same information It's uh, in uh, the first video, though there's more information in that one. And then, of course, if you would actually like to donate to this fundraiser to help real women, not Anita Sarkeesian, and hopefully get this to surpass her fundraising, link to this is also in the description box below. All right. Anyway, I'm Gamer Rant. Hope you enjoyed this video in some fashion or form. And remember, gamers, if you're not voicing your thoughts, concerns about the Tracer Booty and Anita Sarkeesian's latest fundraising project, you just might be a part of the motherfucking problem.